I'm sorry guys we just went through what about four minutes almost about three minutes of no audio I was explaining stuff my bad someone else got a hold of me what's this oh okay thank you Sonya oh uh, I did not I'm sorry guys we just went oh yeah I do have sound don't I all right okay we should be good here um I'll explain it again actually you know what this is a 12 by 18 inch canvas I believe also I kept calling it 16 by 20 it's way too small for that it's uh, 12 by 16 it's um yeah 12 by 18 actually um the way you go about the basket I see you see the grid pattern all right but never mind the grid pattern it's like you're you're actually sketching a peanut shape uh, you know, little planters, peanut. Anyway, um, you know, you just loop around and you just just join it, and that's basically it. You start from a corner, get this little paisley shaped looking thing. You loop around, and you come in. That's the inside of the basket. Obviously, the outside of the basket. This is like um, I don't know a C. The letter, either the letter C turned upside down or the, um, you know the cursive letter and you just made it wide okay I'll show you how to get these little little striations um, going here the little twiny things for the basket itself okay so let us probably we'll deal with the um, we'll probably deal with the basket all right I do have glycerin it's probably a little bit off camera there um, we may or may not use it. I probably will. All right, but not like you think. All right. Hey, what's going on, Jessica? I see you. All right. I think we're gonna start with the little twine deal. Um, I believe I might want to use a little orange and brown. Okay, so we'll double load the uh, the brush. So I just get a little bit of orange, a little bit of brown. Now remember the orange is kind of on the weak side. Okay. So we'll kind of do a little something with that. Don't look like I've got enough brown on there. I'll dip a little bit of white in that in that orange. So we can have a little contrast between the two. The light side will probably go um a little bit of uh, a little touch of glycerin just to loosen up this paint all right get some more brown in there so this is me double loading the brush all right as you can see just double load the brush all right I want the uh, I'll keep the dark brown on the bottom and the light side on the top and you're gonna do a slight s formation okay actually let me pull this in I move my chair so you would end up seeing more of my head than anything and this kind of reduce this let's bring this down here like that all right I don't think I need to put it in focus I think it's still in focus and what we're going to do because this is most again we're like double loaded it's going to take a little bit of paint to do so and you go just like that okay like the letter s and you're going to continue this just like that and you get the little S formation going like that okay <coughs> when you add the colors or you repeat the colors be sure you know to, to kind of do it often I got enough brown I just put the brown on the corner and go back and forth it takes quite a bit of paint to do this and you keep that S formation going like that keep going and you'll see that look and you keep the same orientation the little, little S shapes there go back and get you some more brown get you some more orange once again it takes a bit of paint to, to do this all right I'm gonna need a little more glycerin because I can feel my paint grab. Just 
just like that. Keep going. If you see something getting a little dull, like the orange is getting a little dull, get yourself a little more uh, white, dip into some orange. Just like that. If you feel it's a little more brown, peeping through, get just some more brown. And you keep at it, I'll go the other way. Much like that. Just like so. All right. And you keep at it, and you keep at it. Now, let's so say you don't have enough um, brown or whatever, uh, then you just add more brown to it. Um, if you want, up to you. All right. That's pretty much how you would do your little weave of the basket there. Okay. Like I say, it's got a little glycerin. It, it'd take a little while for that to dry. All right. Some of that, some of that will be hidden with the floral uh, with the floral pattern anyway uh, I'll show you a little bit of white and a little bit of water I'll show you what I'm talking about as far as designing the basket I'll just draw it out with the white paint you come here and you make a once again you just start out with the Mr. Peanut shape here going around however size you want it that's really up to you okay You start off with that and you continue it all around right here and you kind of give it a little curve and there you go that's all you would have to do all right the reason why I have this little center um, this little web this bracket you're looking at there the uh, weave is the grid you're, you're gonna have a center in this shape the center would more, most likely be in the middle of this thing. So it would probably be, oh, maybe, maybe right about here. It would just appear to be flat, one straight line there. All right, that would be, you know, half here or half here. It would be your dead center. Anything else you add past that will be a curve. And the more you go toward the tip, the more of a pronounced curve you're going to get okay let's get a little more white paint a little touch of water just to loosen up this this paint a little bit so I'll show it to you with the brush here and this is really a, just a guide to help you along here okay and you're gonna do it the same thing on the other side here it gets a little bend in it the more you go towards the outer edge, the more of a bend it will happen like that. All right. You have a center line. Let's get this sharp. You do have a center line even in this. All your grids do have a center line, especially if they're curved. You go right from the point here and you go right towards the middle of the bend. And there's your automatic center right in there. Okay, just like that. All right. Now, I know it looks a little confusing because of the chalk lines that I have in there, but I can actually erase these chalk lines and this other grid will be in there. All right, because the chalk lines you just get rid of with water. No big deal. I'll clean off this brush and we'll kind of make the chalk lines go bye bye for a second. Okay, and you got to we'll see what I'm talking about here just takes a little little wet paint and you just kind of wipe it away and you'll see more or less the grid that I'm talking about I'll just kind of deaden some of the chalk lines here all right and now you see more of the grid that I'm talking about 
And now you can get your, 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 your weave technique down on this if you want to, just by following those grids. Okay, so with that in mind, we'll once again go with the orange And we'll go with a little bit of brown here. Get a little glycerin. Pop it in. You really want the glycerin to be on the front of the brush. You don't want it to be all in a furl. Okay. All right. And we'll do it. Uh, how do I want to do this? We'll start it here. We'll start it this way. We'll come, we'll make the orange up here on the top again. We'll start from here and we'll just kind of get that little. Oh, I knew it. More, it was too much orange on there. becomes a little bit um, repetitive after a while. All right, uh, we can make a little hatch marks in it. Um, let's see something. If I want, do I really want to do it that way? Maybe not. I don't want to do it that way. We'll do it this way. We'll come here, add it right there. All right, let's get plenty of brown, plenty of orange. And we'll go right in, right in the middle like this. And you do it again, a little curve there. Almost like you're doing bricks, all right. Brighten up that orange a little bit. We'll just keep at it. We'll go back to uh, actually, I went a little too far there, but it's all right. We'll just continue that like that, and we'll just we'll do it here. It, I can tell I haven't done this in a while. Mix a little white in with that orange, get some more brown. A little glycerin right on the tip of the of the um, brush. You don't want to dip all of it in the. Uh, there we go. Not enough brown. Once again, this takes plenty of paint to get the effect. Hello, Bill. How are you? Good to see you. We're just getting a little, our little weave basket going here. I'll go on the other side here, make it real lean. I have paint on the other side of the brush, so we're going to do it this way. Have it meet right in the center there. 
All right, let's get some more brown. We already got some bright stuff going uh, going on down there. glycerin this just loosens up the paint <coughs> I can tell I don't have enough brown which is okay if you find you don't have enough of one color you can always go back over it all right right here go to and go easily go back over it again I can lean the brush a little bit I'll take it, I'll lean, I'll go the other way. Hopefully I can get that, get it to kind of work right for me here. it is please let me know because there's no way you're going to learn it if my head is in the way it's just a vantage point because I moved the chair one pretty neat looking weaved uh, basket there you can here I'll do it this way uh, let's just get some orange here we'll put little cute little things in there a little bit of orange a little bit of white we'll, we'll do it this way so we'll, we'll put our cute little weaves in there it gives you you know your eyes something to track here so we'll kind of pop it in this way almost like a little bowl shape all right so you're kind of following those little creases in there and you just keep it moving it starts to go the other way very simple way to make a basket and yet still add dimension to it have a little fun with it almost looks like one of those little Thanksgiving egg or uh, corn baskets or something like that but as you can see you get that little roundness thing going on um, there I don't necessarily have to add too much of this for the other half because it's going to be hidden by plants and leaves and stuff like that and I'm talking about this area right in here I could just take it and thinly go and this will just give the impression of you know something back there like I say you might not even see a lot of this when it's all said and done so I'll do a few little layers of it I don't don't know why you're not gonna see a lot of this but in case you do in case you do at least you you'll have that part of it covered all right you're not gonna see very much of that but we used you got part of it in there it'll give the illusion of something back there all right <laughs> it's good to see you miss southern bell well, I don't know if I'll do a T-Rex. I already did the Triceratops, the cow-looking dinosaur. So, I don't know. You know, I don't know. I already did one, you know. So, um, okay, so we got a little bit of that established somewhat and done. 
I can glue, well, I'll let it dry a little bit because I can, I can darken this with a cute little glaze real fast. I'll use a little purple. I don't have to use black to um, give the appearance of it being pretty dark. I'll use a little bit of purple. I'll bring the purple out a little bit. Get a little bit of, of this brown in that purple, which kind of reddens it a little bit more. Well, that's all right. A little sap green to help kill that. Uh, I just want something dark just to, whoops, almost went into the water. I just need, I need the glycerin. I don't need the water. The glycerin will thin this stuff out. I'm just mashing the brush down a little bit. Get kind of a nice little glaze happening. And then I'll come in here and I'll just darken it up a little bit. And we'll just kind of put a little bit of purple in there. And just... Darken it a tad, like that. And trust me, I can do it this way because once again, you're not gonna see too much of that back there. You will not. But we'll get it a little, a little deep and just darken it there. All right. So let's start playing with what I want in the basket. We'll, um, we'll strictly start with some some dark stuff. I'll use this brush still. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's just continue with that purple. Let's add some white to it here. I mean, it is purple nonetheless. So we'll, we'll lighten it up like that, all right? And I'm just going to scumble some purple in there. Um, we'll start up around in here like this. And I'm just going to kind of like that just kind of pop that purple in there like I said you're not gonna see too much of that background there so we'll throw in some purple just like that kind of circular let's go down in here a little bit all right all right let's go with a little of this blue green stuff and we'll put it out here out here like that and we'll kind of come down in here just kind of scumble it in there like that let me play out here a little bit and come up up here and out like that all right okay out here like this a little the handle a little bit like that and we'll kind of leave it like that for right now all right and since I'm playing around with it and I'm playing around with a little darker colors let's move let's bring the basket downward we'll play with stuff up here we'll put it right around in here okay let's go with a little bit of sap green um, we'll put it out here by this purple and this other color we'll mix it like this it kind of doesn't matter and we'll pop a little brown in there too. Get some glycerin, put some glycerin in there. Loosens up the paint, okay? Background stuff, okay? I don't have to double load it or anything. This is just stuff barely seen in the background. So let's go here. Right out of this, out of this stuff here and we're just gonna kinda go thin, thick, and make it disappear. <coughs> I got this towel up above, I get the towel out the way. I'll do it again, thin, go thick, and thin, just go out like that. Um, let's go thick and thin, like so. Let's get some more going. Uh, let's pop one right over the basket like this. Okay, and we'll get one kind of drooping down here. Wiggle it a little bit, and then let's come on down like that. Have a little fun with it, all right? Okay, let's go back into that green again. Go get a little purple in that green. Mix both together. Get a little glycerin, loosen up the paint a little. All right. Okay. Um, we'll kind of pop one out here. Like that, nice and dark. We'll come up here and we'll add some 
right above like that get you some more load the block uh, the brush up and we'll get um we'll come out this way start keep it thick and we'll curve it and go this way you see it's pretty dark right and it's all right let's kind of fill that up a little bit better like that okay and we'll kind of get one here pretty dark and go downward like that all right let's get some of that lighter color so we'll get a, a, a double load here and we'll kind of play around with it out there like this all right kind of like that color let's do that again one more time let's have one kind of come here right above and just come on down like that all right I know you don't really see it because of that box um, we'll reduce this a little bit and bring it toward this way so you guys can see everything we'll pop the focus on there all right okay oh uh, here let's do something else let's get some purple in here let's get some purple and green keep it fairly dark get some glycerin loosen up the paint just a little bit these are just background things once again all right nothing to write home about and let's come out here and we'll kind of play around with some so just some wild leaves in here kind of pop them in there like that and we'll kind of have one branch out here it doesn't matter if you if you go you know if you cut off a few of the, of the plants it's all right all right it's all right just just put them in there okay oh uh, um we'll get one in here like that and just kind of let's get some wild woolly things happening kind of wiggle it around we're going to want around in here, come out here like that. All right. Just stuff in the background, playing around in that darkness there. All right, let's kind of get one here. Okay. Just like that. Oh, we'll get a little something in here like that. Just play around with it a little bit, like that. Get a little bit of that ultramarine color in there, and maybe maybe we'll we'll tease a little bit of oh maybe just get a little touch of white, a little minute touch of white. I just want to play with a little bit of glow. We're just really teasing it, really. not you know, nothing too serious you come in here and do a little bit of something in there like that okay mm, not really much back here we'll kind of pop one in there like this okay but like say nothing really to write home about all right all right hey Rob how you doing good to see you We're gonna really pretty much move right along because it's not really too terribly um, difficult to do do this once you kind of establish what you what you're looking for and what you want. This is a half inch flat brush. <coughs> in case you're you're wondering. Alright, all of this was done with a half inch flat so far. We're about to go a little smaller. Alright. Get a small quarter inch uh, flat. Alright, now you see um where I did the purple here? Let's, let's come in a little bit now. Right about there. We'll bring it right in here. All right. This just helps me help the camera put it in focus pretty good. All right, good. All right, let's go into... um. Uh, we'll continue with the purple here. We'll pull the purple out, add a little bit of... A little bit of white we kind of lighten up that purple just a little bit just like that 
All right, you're gonna do a bunch of quick flicks of, we'll get a little bit of glycerin, quick flicks of um, paint here. And we get some cute little hydrangea things happening there. All right, we just take it and give it a quick little, you establish at least one flower at least. Just like that, establish one. Okay, and if you want, I'll come here and I'll pop one at the side here this one two three and maybe a full one or oh, let's have them come out here a little bit like this okay somewhere out there like that now all the rest goes by pretty quickly um at least i'm gonna have it go by you see you just go in different directions with it and they'll start to add and build up there And believe it or not, you might see a few of these, but I just want to kind of fill them up. And you, you approach these guys like they're the only ones you're painting today. Okay. That way, if you keep that mindset, you're not going to have to do them. All right. You won't just take a nonchalant attitude uh, with them in doing them. I'm just digging up some more purple. I think I'm going to just stick with this darker purple. Let's see what that looks like in, in some of this. This is just darker purple now. So we can get away with it a little bit because we're going toward the inside of the of the bush or the hydrangeas, not really a bush. Come out that way. Bring some of them over the, over the basket. Like I say, you're not gonna see too much of the top of the basket. Let's pop them in there, all right. different directions to pop them in there let them overlap a little bit and we'll maintain a lot of that darkness there in the center and you keep going at it there let's borrow some of that and bring it here put it in there put them in there they can go go by pretty quickly it's a good way for you to practice your your strokes and and, and um, doing these fellows. And I'm not using too much glycerin for this darker part. I'm gonna use I'm putting some in there now, but I wasn't really doing it too much with it. We'll continue with the darkness. As you see, a smaller brush it makes them look great. I make it look easy because I've practiced a lot doing these. Okay, something like that that's going on there. Get a little bit of white. We'll pop some of that white in there. And we'll get some highlights going. And the highlights are, it looks like I'm popping them highlights over here. Come out here and put them out there toward the edge a little bit. In different directions like that. We can go a little bit brighter. As you go brighter, you'll realize that the more you do it, some of that pr uh, purple will get eaten up. Some of that bright color will be eaten up by the um, the paint underneath. And it's fine. It's a good gradation of color without even trying so hard. All right. We'll kind of pop some really bright ones out there to wake things up there like that. We'll kind of pop some bright ones up around in this area like that my brush is contaminated with a little bit of that purple so we're you know we're good like that Gotta cover it on. as long as they kind of stay on one side all right you, you pretty much you're good after that okay let's go for this ultramarine stuff we'll put it right in here all right uh, we'll get some white. We'll brighten it up a little bit here. So we'll start bright this time. Get some more white. Pop it in there just like that. Okay. We'll just brighten it up a little bit. Okay. Uh, a little touch of glycerin. We'll loosen up the paint. That's alright, Bruce. 
I I seen you this morning. I seen you. Well, come out here. At least it's at least establish one full one if you can. After you establish that one full one, you can kind of go in different directions with it. Up to you. But we'll do the highlighted ones first. We'll, we'll play around with these. I'm going, like I say, in different directions. Up, down, sideways, to the right, left, wherever. All right. Now with a with a very dry background, the background on this board is dry, so the glycerin is in the paint. I'm dipping the glycerin. And I'm going in the paint with the glycerin. All right. So the brush moves around very easily, like that. Okay. All right. Let's wipe off some of that. I don't need that. Let's go into more of the its natural color here. I'm just getting a bunch of paint now. No glycerin, just a whole bunch of paint mat um, just on the brush. Here we're going towards the darker area. So now, if I I got white in the brush, so it's still, as you can see, it's still deeper in tone. It's still darker. I don't need to have it glow in the dark, um, um, bright, but just enough to kind of highlight a little bit more than the uh, the background scumble pattern that I did. All right, and I'm gonna still go on with it here. Still move it around. Now I know other flowers are gonna be covering this guy. Yeah, we got them way out here, and they're not bright just because they're out there. Doesn't necessarily mean they're they're bright. Because remember the light side, I've um, got it going to the to the extreme right. So just because they're out there oh you guys don't see this I'm sorry I'm out here just because you see them out here doesn't necessarily mean they have to be brighter okay because once again there's gonna be all sorts of stuff going on when I put the roses in and whatnot and I'm going in different directions with it I can stay with the true color on a black background where the background's kind of black. Okay. Just like that. Pop some strays out there somewhere. Put it just see, just wing them out there. Just just out there. Like that. Alright, let's go back in here. Now I can add, let's do something. Either or I can go back into the purple. Um, we'll, we'll keep it right there. We'll just bring some of that color into the purple like this. Kind of match it in. It's actually a very beautiful color right there. And we'll bring some of that nice color right in here. It's a bluish kind of thing. Purple blue happening in there. But it's deep in the... Uh, in the gap inside of the uh, basket. Hey Billy, how you doing? It's good to see you. You really work in those space paintings there. And we'll kind of Tease some of these guys out here a little bit. Just like that. We'll kind of break it up by putting some extra ones floating around out there. Okay. Once again, you have to give the impression that these are the only flowers you're making, and that's it. Alright. Alright, let's pull back a little bit. Let's see what we got here. Alright. So I'll kind of put it in this area right here. Let's well, I don't need I don't need the paintbrush. We got enough colors for it to focus in on. But there you go. This is what we got so far. All right. Okay. Let's get a script liner real quick. Get some water. 
Mm, we'll, we'll mess with this with a little bit of green. We're just going to tap some, put some green in there real quick, just like that. All right. We still got enough brightness there. It'll make a difference. You're going to really put some water in this. Really thin that paint. All right. Roll your paint in there. All right. Um, let's just kind of get some tendril looking things kind of going around like that. Up and around, come around, swing around like like so. Well, we'll just curl it around here somewhere. All right. All right. Mm, we'll come around here, boom, have it come out here. All right. I think my poor brush has, has, uh, I don't know, I think it's seen better days. I think I might have to bury this one, guys. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll just kind of come around here, come around in here like that, kind of sneak up and under. Go behind the basket there like that. Let's go on the other side. All right, the other side look, looking a little bit lonely. Come right here. Loop it around. Come over here. Like the letter eight. I might as well do it. I already did it. Come on around here. Go up that way. Like that. <coughs> I might not have, have cleaned it well because I think it's, some of it's starting to stick stick in there. I can feel it. Yeah, I can see where I think some paint has got to it. Either it's dried at the tip or something. I can feel it. I'm looking right at it. I might have to do a little operation here. All right. Yeah, I can, I can still see it. I might be able to save it. But anyway, something like that. Okay, so we got a few of those happening in there. Um, we can establish a little bit of dark. Um, I don't really have anything to set that off as dark. I didn't put anything in here to do so. So let's get some Prussian blue. And we'll kind of put the Prussian blue right in there. Oh, uh, what can I add with that Prussian to kind of bring some of that dark? in there and let's get a half inch brush for a second so i might have to glaze some dark underneath that basket so we got a little bit of prussian blue we'll put it over here somewhere and get a little bit of that brown then i just kind of gray it out there well actually it's turning green i don't have enough purple therefore we must bust out with red mm. i'll go with the deepest red there Good to see your rosemary. Uh, we'll put the red right next to it there. I just want a deep, uh, just a deep color, just to, um, now that green and that red, they're opposites. It, it uh, get really dark really fast. And that's all I'm looking for really, just some dark color right there, just like that. Get a little glycerin and pop it in there, loosen it up a little bit. Okay. All right, and I just want to establish some a uh, little bit of shadow up on the here a little bit, come up on here, round it off, just like that, just round it off. So it's a little, little dark on the there. Okay, a little, little dark. It's trying to play games. Here, yeah, I can play games better. There we go. You still see some of the basket. All right, that's the primary goal is that you still see some of the basket under there. Well, there's a reason why we, it's gonna be a little dark there. Okay, you do have a, a ground here. Uh, let's play with a little bit of, let's see if I dip this in white, let's see what we got here. We got anything decent? Mm, not really. Pop some red in there. Let's make it a little maroon there. The more red, deepen it. Now throw that green in there. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I think that'd be okay. That'll look fine. Let's take some of this and um, uh, should I really add glycerin to this? I already did, so it's a little late. All right, let's go down to the very bottom here. Um, let's just do something, something like this for right now. Let's get a little glyc glycerin in there now, and we'll just kind of. There's no glycerin, so it's more like dry brushing here. And we're just kind of playing with it. We're gonna kind of wave it out this way. Now we're gonna get some, we can get some of that dark back. Don't worry about that. And you'll see what I'm talking about. The glycerin to help me um, bring that out. Let's put this back here and just go back to that dark color. Establish the ground real quick. A little bit of blue, we'll put the blue in here. A little bit of red, a little deep maroon here. Real fast. All right, we'll come back in here and we'll kind of See, just kind of go outward with it. You press and you go outward. Up on here is really particularly kind of kind of deep there. You just go out with it. Come here, you do the same same thing. Take it, press, go outward. Bottom of the uh, basket here. Hopefully my head isn't, once again, too much in the way. All right. Let's go back into our deep mix. Go right underneath the basket. It's fairly, fairly dark under here. Just like that. Kind of establish it being a little, little deep, a little dark there. All right. Okie dokie. All right. Do you have a preference to what soap you use to clean brushes? Um, believe it or not, uh, Bruce, I don't use soap. I use baby oil put the brushes in the baby oil and get whatever it, baby oil removes oil paint all right and it softens the bristles synthetic or natural hair and so yeah I don't deal with the soap I just I just pop them in some baby oil and keep them in there I'm gonna go up have it shine like a little table this idea just sprouted on me just now. It's kind of wipe across. Since I'm messing around with um, I'll do it this way. Get a little bit of white. Nonchalant. It kind of don't matter where you are. It goes, goes straight up like that. It's, see? Just like this. And I'm going to go over here to the end. Pop a line in there like that. Okay, all right. And since I'm doing that, let's <laughs> so you guys can actually see it. And you just kind of play with it there. Keep going, keep going with it. Just see, just kind of like that. That's okay. Same thing up in here, just kind of play with the upper stroke there. 
Ouais. Okay, I'll take it lightly and go to the left. Go over here to the right a little bit. Go again to the left. Little little signs there. Same thing down here. Go this way a little bit. Give it a little press. And you go the other way. And you go back the other way if you want. And you can kind of see it change directions a little bit here and there. Now, I'm not done yet. This is just real quick, cute things you can do real fast. Just to establish a little bit of shine, a little bit of glow, a little bit of whatever. I'll just take this and we'll just kind of add a nice... It's like that. You can play part of around a little bit of glow right in the back back there. Just like that. Doesn't take much white. Yeah, just a little bit of something back there. Okay, then you add some stuff here real quick. Add in here, kind of pop one across like that. All right, and just leave it be. You don't add no more, no more to that. All right, let's go back down here. Real, it, it, this is like once again real fast, real quick. Okay, so we get our little stuff going on there. Okay. I have a pretty impressive mess here, so let's kind of scrape some of this up and out of here. Some of it's got glycerin on it, some of it's got water. I just want to get rid of it real fast. Okay. Let's establish a few, few, um, florals in here this um I want them kind of on the orange side today so let's do it this way let's take some of this what is it leather and crimson we'll just take a little bit of leather and crimson here I need more than that that's that's kind of a joke I don't know, is that leather and crimson yeah I guess it is all right so we'll establish um we'll use the leather and crimson as the base now remember, our orange is not really, well, this orange is different, but orange isn't really the most powerful of colors. I'll take the alizarin and crimson. We'll put a, let's put, um, let me think. That's one, all right. All right, we'll, um, we'll put one up around in here somewhere. direction here <clears throat> all right hmm. I'm eating up my lizard and crimson but that's okay let's put a little something something why not why not let's go right behind the bush right in here but we have one kind of playing hide and go seat back here somewhere and he's coming around, slipping around the, in the front edge though. I just challenge myself. So we got one down there on the bottom. Still three, it's just one behind the basket. All right. Okay, we'll just play with that and see where it goes. This is all acrylic. Nope. 
Judy. Um, still acrylic. It's heavy body acrylic, but it's acrylic. All right, let's take our half inch brush. Let's zoom in on, on, on one of these soon to be a rose. Um, let's start with the one on the corner. Why not? Let's zoom in on, on that corner one there. We'll start with the one behind the basket, behind everybody here. It's saying hello, that guy. I know it looks like just a combobulated mess over there. I know. All right, let's take a little bit of this orange. We'll put it right in here, mix it in with the leather and crimson, just kind of pop it in there like that. Okay, but we'll build it up like that. Take a little bit of glycerin, we'll loosen up that paint. So it's a leather and crimson and orange, just like that. Okay, all right. All right, and uh, welcome, Judy. Good to have you. Let's um, pop a flower. Um, what we're we gonna do? Let's, let's kind of like get a leaf going this way. We'll kind of turn it here like this. Actually, I'm playing here. That's too. That's too thin. Hold on. And I'll sharpen up the. Um, let's really get some red out there. We'll sharpen up that um, image in a second. I actually forgot to do it. There we go. All right, let's go back into our orange. Let's go into a little lizard and crimson. Very little. A little deepen it. Just like that. A lizard and crimson and orange. Get some glycerin, put it in there, loose up this paint. This is very thick um, acrylic. The glycerin acts as a extender and blender. Okay. It prolongs the drying time of the paint. All right, and it makes your makes your paint a little transparent too. So keep that in mind if you plan on using this stuff. And I'm just curving some some leaves in there, or petals, excuse me, not leaves, petals. All right. All right. You know I cannot look at a picture while you're while I'm going live here. All right. Um, okay, we got one going there. All right, um, okay, we got a petal going out around the basket. That's cool. Um, we'll have so some coming in from over here. Come on in. And we'll make it come to a point there. Like that. We got another one, so we'll have a nice little little S curve right here. Okay. And we got another one, we'll have him kinda come out this way. Um, we'll have another one just kinda he's kinda hanging out, out here this this direction. Okay. All right, we'll mess with that for a second. Once again, it's just a half inch flat. All right, let's take a little bit of white. Um, we'll use white for this, this color. Why not? Take a little glycerin, right? just a little bit. Let's get that a little bit brighter. Once again, this color is, um, it's got that um, alizarin crimson in it, so it's kind of deep. Snuck in some of that green in there too, but that's fine. Okay, let's go up around in here. Just kind of highlight this, give it a slight push, slight push. Can you get that little rim of color and we go in? Slight push, go in real, real fast. Get a little point, get a point, drag, and just make it disappear. Drag and make it disappear. Right up on its edge there. Boom. I'm overlapping that glob of paint as I'm doing this. This is how you get a rounded edge with a square brush. In case you're wondering. Just overlap a tad. Let's make this stand out a little bit because it's got to compete with that basket. So, like that. 
Okay, we're, we're good. All right. More white. <coughs> oh, excuse me. A little more white. Let's go here. A little push and quick flick. Push. Push, flick, push, flick, push, quick flick. And we get a nice little line going there and brush that. Now, let me do something here. I like that. I just didn't realize it until I just seen it. Let's kind of get a nice little, little line going from one to the other, just like that. Just that, that simple line. Now you got a pedal that's going like this. You see it? See the little wave there? Okay. Just that fast, you can you kind of see what's going on there. All right, let's bring out some more paint. A little white, just brightening. It's being contaminated by the orange that's in it. Um, how do I want to play that one off? Let's just... I kind of like it over there, so maybe we'll leave that alone and we'll just get a bright one here. Just kind of pop it in there like that. Okay. Um, we'll do one here. Come this way. Come this way. And we'll have one come here and we'll just curve it there like that. We'll do it right here too. We'll just take it and curve. Boom. And pop one in there like that. All right. All right. Nice little cute orange petal we'll put some stamens in there and call it a day for that one all right okay see some are bright some are not bright put your stamen in that establishes where your center flower will be all right well let's take the brush what mm, nah just clean all that brush off Where's my short towel? Let's get this, use this towel. Need a nice crisp, sharp edge. This, we'll pop the stamens in there real fast. We'll just take some of this orange, some of this white, a little more orange. And we'll put it, um, we'll put a couple up right in here. Something like that. And we'll kind of wiggle one this way. Oh, we have one kind of cross like that and pop one over here like this. All right. We're going to take, we're gonna take that same, uh, well, I don't see it with me. I don't see it. We'll just use this one. We'll just take some dark blue. We'll just come over here real fast. And we'll just kind of Pop some love in there. Turn the brush around there. Go get some more dark paint. Just like that, but just kind of play around with it like so. Get some more paint. We're going to come on the other side. Forgive my squeaky chair. I know you hear it. Oh, yeah, Judy, yep. There's something in baby oil, it takes that paint right off. And yes, it does take care of the bristles on the brush. It may even save a few, actually. If it's good enough for your baby's hair, it's good enough for your brush. Just saying. Okay, so we got that established, um, that orange fellow. Let's go over here, let's add some more orange things. Okay, this would be a little more recognizable, more or less. Let's just take our orange right here. We're gonna thin out that orange. This, is, this paint 
is on the Waverly Orange. Okay, the Waverly brand. It's a Walmart brand. It's a step higher than um, regular craft paint. But you can still take that and tip this um, tip this easel upside down, and uh, that paint's not going nowhere. Okay, we're right up in here. We're gonna establish. I can I can see things already that you may not. So um, here. I'll get a round little thing, come to a point there. Here's another one right in here. Okay, just like that. And I'll kind of pop it in there like so. Um, we'll have something kind of crazy coming over here on this side like that. All right. Okay, I still got plenty of orange. Uh, I'm establishing here. I'll, I'll do it this way. I'll just put a curve in there like that. And I'll put a curve in there like that. That'll kind of establish more or less the bowl. All right, and we'll come here and we'll kind of pop something crazy right here, okay? Um, something a little more right in here. Have it come out a little bit like that, okay? And go into that crimson there like this. And then we'll have kind of something come out this way like that. It'll make sense in about four seconds, all right? But some of that nature. <laughs> all right. In all honesty, these flowers are kind of small in comparison to the board itself. Let's get some titanium white, put it right in that same orange. All right, all right. let's st start here. Let's give it a push and you press and make it disappear. Give it a push, press, kind of fade it to give it a push and I'll just kind of turn it go that way get some more or um, white contaminate the orange a little bit okay uh, right here let's go push and go out come back we got higher push go straight push and you curve and go around all right let's get this one stronger a little stronger there just like that all right okay once you get the hang of it, the the the, the direction of how, where you want to go with it, and you see how it flows, you'll know where to put your pedals, or how to create the pedals. All right, all that stuff will make sense to you. All right, a little bit of glycerin in there. We'll press some of that dark into the red, kind of. Deepen that a little bit, and if it's not working, we'll just go a little bit into the ca uh, the cat red. Or, or the or the alizarin crimson is not cat red. Alizarin crimson. We'll just kind of deepen it a little bit, just like that. Okay. All right. Hey, Carolina, how you doing, sir? It's good to see you. It's good to know that you're doing you're doing well. Good to see your face when I, when I see you. Good to see you, Carolina. Well, uh, here, we'll go from this side. We'll give it a nice little press and go on in. A little press, go on in. Press, go on in. Press, and we'll go the other way like that. Need a little more glycerin. I can tell when it's grabbing. The only reason it's grabbing like that because I don't have glycerin on the board. I'm instead putting glycerin in the paint. Okay, so essentially this is a, a dry board. We're painting wet on dry. Let's go over here on the other, other side. Uh, maybe not. I got something I want to do over there. Here, 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 and we'll curve and go in. Okay. Uh, no, we'll start over here. A little brighter. Give it a little push. A little brighter. Like that. We'll push it in there. All right. Let's get a little more orange. All right. A little glycerin there. A little bit of a mix. We're gonna come in inside here. And 
will continue with the petals in the inside like that. All right, oh, uh, get some little micro petals in there, just like that. We'll pop a couple of little dark ones in there like this. Now, once you start overlapping petals like that, you're gonna need a little bit of what I don't have, which is white. Yeah, he, he is. Um, he, that's quite a time difference he, he got over there. Just add a little white because we need to separate the petals a little bit. There we go. Let's separate that guy. Separate that guy. Separate that guy a little bit. Like I say, technically these flowers are a little tiny to do this style, but that's alright. We will work with it. It's alright. Okay. We're going to get some translucent flowers. Petals. Translucent. Meaning that you, you'll, you can see through them, basically. Let's go with a little bit of a lizard and crimson and that orange. A little bit of orange and lizard and crimson. And plenty of glycerin. Remember, glycerin makes your paint translucent. You can see through it. And this is what we're getting at right now. This is what we're doing. I'm taking the brush. I'm going to pull the brush toward me. All right, all out here. Um, we'll just come a little further like this. Now, as I do this, all right, when it dries, you'll still see some of the weave basket and, and all that good stuff. And you can make your you can make your flower just grow and grow and grow, get larger and larger and larger. So we'll come out this far right here and fade it right into that maroon there or that deep red just like this and it's just me really playing around essentially and then come out here actually we'll get a nice rim of color there and curve it in there just like that all right okay and doing it like that with a darker color Okay, kind of established where the light's kind of kind of hitting there. You got these guys kind of subdued in the back, just chilling out, you know, back there, minding their own business. Once again, when all this stuff dries, you'll still see some of those petals of the other flowers back there. All right, just having a good time, you know, just enjoying the party. All right, okay, let's go up here. And we got this guy. Let's take this one. Uh, we'll take some of this orange here. Let's just say the bowl is right. Here's the bottom of the bowl there. Okay, I'm going to just kind of swing it around like this. Okay. All right. Like something like that. We can fade this bottom end a little bit. But I'm just pressing. And we'll just kind of make it disappear in that red a little bit there. Like that. All right. <coughs> Let's take a rim of white paint. Get a nice little edge there. And we'll just kind of take that little rim of paint. We'll come here and we'll kind of come this way. Come straight down. And we're going to take that rim of paint and we'll curve it around. Like that. Alright. Okay. Oh, uh, let's just kind of go... Mm, We'll come here and we'll just curve and go in. Just like that. And we'll take the other side. We'll just kind of press and go inward. Higher and go inward. And we'll kind of do it that way. One more like that. Okay. All right. We'll add a little, little curve of color right there. There. Okay, that's, that's cool. Let's get a little bit more of that. 
a little bit of more. Well, I think I'm at roots. All right, let's, uh, let's go back here. Pop some of that love back there like that. Right back there. Come on, bring it out in, in that fashion. As I'm looking, shall I add a little more? Mm, I think I want to add one more little something there. So let's get a little touch of white. Put it in this. It's a lizard and crimson and orange. Now the orange that I have, the Waverly orange, it has a little grit to it. Just like that. All right. <coughs> now you see how I'm starting to add these um, petals in here. All right. Okay. I'm just cleaning off the brush real fast. No, nope, not baby shampoo, baby oil. Baby oil. No, 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 Judy, baby oil. And, um, no, not yet, not yet, my bladder. I don't know, maybe it's those Pilates I've been doing, but no, I don't have to go pee yet. Again, if I dip my hand in some of this water, it, you know, things might happen, but nope, I'm doing all right. No, baby, baby oil. Let it clean. It takes the oil paint off brushes. Take your acrylic paint right off the brush. And it conditions the brush. Synthetic or natural hair. But yes, you can use baby oil to clean your brushes, even with oil paint. Yes. Yep, it eats eats the oil right off, but it doesn't 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 take the soap or soap. Doesn't take the glue off the brush. Oh, I don't want to, want them trans. Well, I guess I can do a little translucency, a little glycerin. All right, all right. We're coming up here. Let's give a little, little that little rim of paint. We're gonna curve it. Boom. A little curve. Boom. A little curve. And we're gonna come in with this one like that. Um, let's do another one right, right beside it, right here. And we're gonna kind of bring him in like that. Let's bring him in too. Let's just curve him in. Nice little. Actually, I want, I want to do something different there with that one. Let's brighten that one second here. I'll, I'll have a petal fold. Okay, right in here, I'll just take the corner, I'll just come up, 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 and then, then, then just make a little, little fold there. There. So we got a little petal that's kind of curved around there. All right, all right. Um, I think I'm running out of white paint again. Yes, I am. Let's accentuate that. Let's just give a little tiny push there. It kind of helps your track that pedal. Let's continue that up here. Curve that there. Come up here. Give it a little curve. And we'll push it in a little. And come up here a little bit. Come here a little bit. Just like that. All right. Once again, this might look, look a little much to you. It did when I started. Um, you just keep working with it, keep working at it, and, you know, take a look at some real flowers and see how they, you know, how they interact with each other. All right. Very cool. All right. That's good. Now, obviously, red and orange and yellow, they're all in the same type of family, so you can use your highlights and shades doing, you know, with the orange. Let's uh, let's take some of this orange here. We'll put it here. Let's get some glycerin. Put it glycerin in the orange there. We'll make some more translucent petals. Just because. We'll come out here. I'll give up a push and we'll just come in. Push, come in, push, come on. These, these are the fellows on the outside here, or the bottom of of the uh, leaves, leaves at the bottom of the petals, sorry. Now uh, we'll come here, we'll do another one. 
We'll have them curve in. Actually, I want him out further. Okay. I'll take my little soft. This is nothing but a makeup brush. I'll just kind of soften that edge a little bit. Let's get some uh, regular orange here. We'll kind of pull that out. All right. Um, we'll get a nice rim of color right here. Boom. Come in. Boom. Come in. It's like that. We're going to come out this way for this one here. Rimicolor, 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 take it and just kind of push that in. Like so. I'm going to get a little touch of white, not too much. I don't have any white to touch. So, hold on. Hey, what's going on, Ernest? Good to see you. I'm on the tail end of this. A little bit of uh, the rim of, of, of white, just to, so people don't lose, lose track really of where things are. And uh, this kind of adds some love here. Sometimes I don't have to trail them. All I need is just a little touch of, of white. Just like that. All right, you see those uneven bits there? It's like the light's trying to, it's like a hit hit or miss. Okay. Once again, once you get comfortable with it and you'll find a technique and a style that you enjoy, um, you can really go to town on, on something like this. This white has kind of mellowed out and, 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 and died down a little bit. So you just kind of pump it up a little bit there. Just like that. Yep, I just made a whole bunch of frills. Frill, 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 and then curve around. Okay. I mean, you know, it, it's, it's pretty fun to do these. Like I say, you're not going to do them overnight because I sure as hell haven't. You, it depends on how, how desperate you want to learn uh, how to do these. Um, I mean, if you really want to learn them, you will work your butt off um, doing them. No doubt. Okay. So, but it can be done. It, it really can. Okay. All right, let's get, um, this is a, a liner brush. We're just going to go with a little bit of, we'll go with a little bit of orange and white here. Kind of put it in there like this. All right. Mm, and we'll kind of make it come out here like that. And something out there like this. All right. We'll kind of keep that brightness pretty strong there. We'll just kind of curve around there. We'll kind of get something going out down this way. Kind of keep crisscross each other like that. All right. Oh, you know, we got our basket going on and a little, 
a couple of orange roses showing off their beauty and being flagrant and flamboyant, you know. They, they're just, you know, they're just saying hi to everybody. Um, I kind of, you know, after I got done putting cow-colored dinosaurs on a farm, I had to come back and, you know, do something a little more familiar. The, uh, the dinosaur cow, I did that just for my enjoyment of painting the dinosaurs. and It's kind of my thing. I just don't do it because of the time involved of doing it. Um, I, but I enjoyed it. I don't, I don't really do them much because one, they don't sell. It's, that was just definitely one for me to enjoy. And, and that was, you know. Sometimes you gotta paint for yourself and that was one of them. I got it hanging on the wall now, to be honest with you. Okay, all right. As I'm looking, as I'm looking, we've established our basket, okay. Um, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna show you guys something here. I didn't anticipate this, but I'm a, I'm gonna get away with it, or I can. I'm gonna do it because I know I can get away with it. But this is unintentional. But as I'm talking to you and looking at this, I'm gonna show you something. Look down here. Look down here for one second. This is unintentional. Okay. I want you to look at something. You see where it's dark here? Not intentional. But if I put a strong white line right across there, it's going to look like a reflection of this basket underneath. Do you guys know that? Bet you didn't realize that. I realized it when I just looked at it. Even though I did not... In <laughs> well, Judy, I believe you can do it. No lie. But if I put a strong line shh, right across, shh, right across, all right, it's going to look like a reflection. Put it right across, shh, nice strong one right there. And look down there. And it looks, it'll look like a reflection. It's crazy. It is crazy. I didn't realize that until I just kept looking at it. But yeah, looks like a little, looks like a little, little reflection. I'll just kind of keep it going though. Why not? Keep it going. Why not? Keep the illusion going. Why not? Eh, why not? Just keep it going. Make people happy. Keep the illusion going. It's all right. Add a little brown to it. Just keep it going. Keep the illusion happening. and make people happy. Oh, how did you get that reflection? Tell them it's a secret. Secret mistake. But tell us a secret anyway. There. I think it's hilarious. Left and right. It's all good. Ah, we'll play with a little bit of a little, a little more white and just kind of play around with that reflection thing. I think it's funny. I think it's hilarious. Unintentional reflection, but it's a reflection regardless. All right, we're almost there, everybody. We're almost there. Let's pull back a bit. Bring this down. We'll put it right about there. You guys can just about see everything and it's gonna put the focus on. Oh, all right. Okay, as I'm looking at it, checking it out, checking it out, looking at it, let's take my finger, dip into a little bit of glycerin, um, 
and I'll put it right here just like that just right just like that just put it there just like that the glue's going to dry up all right let's take a little bit of white and put it right here and then we'll just kind of stir it around we have fun we got a nice little shine there all right you guys remember that commercial i think it was a guy called commercial a little pig hanging out the window going wee 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 and that's pretty much the same thing he was such a happy pig till it found out it's going to be the next pork dinner because you notice you don't see the pig on the commercial no more there we go isn't that neat isn't that a nice way to make a like uh make a shine there make a nice little glow oh there we'll we'll put one right around here somewhere kind of and just kind of expand it a little bit no big deal all right we still got a little white dot off paint right here so we'll just kind of put that dot right in there somewhere take your finger and wee 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 okay I uh, just kind of expand it a little wider like that there something like so I think I got another enough little a nice strong white dot just like that pretty neat pretty neat i like it pretty cool <coughs> just can't have two though just can't have two gotta put one more in there odd numbers your eye settles on odd numbers a lot better okay hmm i don't know um man why not with the I'm gonna slap a baby one right here in the corner. Who cares? All right, think we got enough dot to do one? I think so. We'll put a baby one there. Press and go in a circular motion, wider and wider, just like that. You don't have to do it as hard. All right, and then you pop a little dot right there. All right, okay. All right. <clears throat> Yep, I put a reflection dot in there. Got a reflection dot. Bet you didn't see that coming. Okay. All right. As I'm looking at it, trying to see if there's any more little joys I can add to this. I don't think so. I think we're good here. All right, we got our unintentional um, reflection. People all love that. Um, got some, you know, flowing florals here. Um, got some translucent leaves going on there. Okay. Oh, uh, I think we got a little bit of, got a little bit of everything. Got little hydrangeas happening. You got our little twiny things going on. You got the little star orbs happening. Okay, we're we're fine. We're good we're good all right let's pop our signature on this somewhere what is this oh, wrong 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 brush give it a go judy give it a go and if you do um do this you know don't be don't be shame put it on facebook and show a brother either tag me on it or just put post it on my wall on a my Facebook page all right I would really enjoy that oh Bruce um, will you be on in an hour Bruce talk to a brother are you gonna be on what you gonna do usually usually um, Bruce is on uh, Tuesday nights so and if you are, if um, drop your link in there, let people know who you be. Thank you, Rosemary. Oh, 
Oh, um, Jessica, that's the guy from Georgia that I I um I talked to. Okay. His name is real name is Ernest, but yes, he does go by Midi Man. He's a music uh, producer, musician, you know, all that fun stuff. He's um, one of the deacons in his church. I've been knowing him for quite some time. Let's just safely put it that way. We've known each other for a minute. Okay. Um, but yeah, good man. Good man. All right. This is actually truly half inch tape for real. Uh, this is, uh, I think this is like one inch tape. Okay. This is half inch. Take a look. You see that? There. But the fun hasn't stopped yet. Hold on. Two inch. Okay. So actually, it should fit this way. All right, we're, we're looking like that. Two inch, one inch, half inch. That is definitely truly half inch tape. Okay. This I use to mask, obviously, objects and things and whatnot. You can do with the one inch tape, but it all depends on how large it is. You're better off with the two inch tape here than the one inch and you got the half inch. All right, I used a half inch tape for the border here. Okay, all right. Okie dokie, let's, let's peel this thing off. Actually, I can, uh, before I do that, let's clean this mess up. I have slowly gotten into the habit of, of um, cleaning this nasty tray. So when I'm done, I'm done. But when I start, I want to start afresh, start anew. This is a glass palette. It's the godsend. Let me show you, uh, for so, some of you who aren't really familiar with the brand of paint that I use, um, this is um, a step above craft paint. It is sold at Walmart. It's some pretty thick stuff, as you can see. All right. They come in all sorts of colors. This is actually ultramarine green or ultramarine blue. Okay, um, or turquoise. There, same same color, guys. Turquoise, turquoise green. Same thing. All right. Oh, but this is the paint that I do prefer. This is Grumbacher um, paint. Okay. It has the consistency of oil paint. I used to be an oil painter, and um, yeah. But this is the orange that I use for today. They call it pumpkin. It's made by palette actually. Um, but this stuff is thick. It's not like the palette uh, paints you, you would find in these tubes. Okay. Yeah, this stuff here is thick. And if you get the brand that says chalk paint on it, be careful. Because when it dries, it dries like granite. Okay. You're going to have a good time scraping that stuff off. Even with the... Uh, um with the uh i use rubbing alcohol to clean this palette you can use windex okay but it's not going to come off the way you, you see it you might have to work at it a little bit but it, it does come off i use rubbing alcohol because of how quickly and how easy it does come off the only side effect really with using rubbing alcohol is that it's going to smell like your grandma's hospital room other than that, it's good stuff. All right. All right. spray of the rubbing alcohol. Another towel. And 
Rubs right off, clean as a bean, ready to go for another round. Be kind of be kind of quick with the rubber knuckle. It does evaporate rather quickly, right, but it does get the job done, as you can see. All right, there you go, clean as a bean, ready for another go. All right, okay. All right, we turn this off. You don't need this. Nah, you don't need to see the back of my head either. So I usually would have um, the other camera on. I just didn't feel like putting it on today. All right, I think we're good right there. I'll focus it one more time just to focus it. Um, let's take this off. I do prefer to use tape on my book for my borders. This is just a um, preference. You don't necessarily have to do it. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes. But I'm just accustomed to doing it over the years, so. Once again, this is essentially a dry board. The only time I use glycerin is actually in the paint. I never really used it on the board. This painting was done with glycerin. Actually, I dipped the brush into the glycerin and then used, used it with the paint. Or I used, put the paint on the brush and then dip the brush into the glycerin and use it that way for blending. Either way, either way. I really haven't done any orange flowing flowers in quite some time. I haven't done a basket in, in truly a while. Okay. All right. And like I said, even though I, I painted the inside of the basket, you you don't really see the inside of the basket, but you do see that it is the shape of a basket. All right. Okay. Hey, Diana, how are you? It's all right. Um, not too many people do unless I really announce it I don't know why nobody really gets the notifications um, anymore but who knows check the chat window she asked the question let me see here let me see I, I, let me see I don't see oh she's well I answered Judy's. I seen that. Yeah, I don't see where she. Oh, there she is. She said that can she post? Yeah. Go for it. Diana can do hers too, sure. I did ask Bruce if he was going on tonight or not and pop his link on there. But yes, you guys are more than welcome to um if you got a if you got a um if you got a wrench by your name, you know, go ahead. Yeah, I did. I seen it. Thank you, Ernest. I did see it. But yeah, she can post the link. Her she can post the link, Bruce can post the link, um, Vermont can post a link. You guys don't really have to ask me. You got a wrench. Just post it. I'm not going to, you know, fly off the handle. I gave you the wrench for a reason. Yep, you guys can post your link. Post away. And you guys, well, you guys know um, the, the uh, protocol for this thing. I'll take a picture of it make a um, thumbnail of it and um, eventually you'll see it on um, what time is it? Only 6.17 so really early I'll post it on my um, Facebook wall so okay I'll wait for uh oh there she is she just she just did it okay bruce wants to be stubborn that's all right i'm gonna help bruce out poor bruce let me put the search on vermont painting photo there it is okay let's see all right 
I'll help you out, Brucey. There you go. All right, guys. I do appreciate you. Um, Diana, I'm sorry. I could not really respond too much because I was actually in the car when you came on. So, but I did enjoy it. But guys, Bruce will be on in about 50 minutes. Um, actually, he'll be on in 42 minutes. Um, he's on usually at 7 p.m. It's about 19 after now. So um, go on in there, enjoy yourself, and see what he's gonna do. And uh, all right, Mitty, I'll be I'll be getting with you later on this evening. <laughs> oh man yo step off my bills bro yeah I, I know you know they they can't hold on to 13 seconds that'd be the 13 seconds that lives in infamy but guys let me get up off of here um i shall see you when i see you and until next time guys peace